someone. And we're looking. No, we're just looking at the stars. At the stars. We're just chilling. How are you? I'm good. What are people up to? Oh, we're waiting for the lasagna. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. I like it in here, though. I like it. Yeah. yeah, I like the bridge. Out of the house a little bit. Mm. Mm. Just thinking about life. Yeah. Yeah. Just thinking about friends and stuff. Oh my god, I miss them so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm Just so... Just thinking about... Huh? I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, me too, but... I remember the day before leaving, like, my friend knew that I got that I was maybe on the show, but yeah. like, and sh I didn't know if I would be gone on Mar really f on March 1st. Mm -hmm. But like we hug and I was like, well, sh if she li you're leaving, I love you and see you soon, blah, blah, blah. And now I'm on mode. Like, mode, yeah. And I'm always thinking of this last hug. Like she, I'm thinking like she was dead, but I remember like I needed, I needed to took shot for the show, so I needed to I couldn't stay with her a long, a long time, and she was like, "Shit!" And I was like, "No." And she, I was like, "I'm sure I'm not leaving tomorrow, so I'm gonna call you late after." And but you did. I didn't. And my friend Larry and Caro was like, "Just send us on face on on the book, like yeah. letters like that, and we're gonna know that you're leaving." But my phone was on the counter, and yeah, the girl okay. was like, "Okay, so now it's sequester time." And she took my yeah. phone. I was like, "No." Yeah, they just get you. Mm. Yeah, and I'm talking with Mo like every single day. Oh, I talked with Peely every single day. Mm hmm. Like, I wonder what Peely's doing. It's weird, I'm not too. I feel mm. they're dead. It's weird, I'm not feeling. If they're not working, you need more chance. Peely, how are you? No, je t'aime. You can say that now, je t'aime. You can say it to Peely. Je t'aime, Peely. Can you say it in Spanish? No. No, you don't? Oh, how, how is, I know what it is. Te? Te amo. Yeah, or te quiero. Te amo. Te amo. Te amo, pili. Te quiero, tu. Whenever I say that to her, she's like, ew, like, that's gross. Why? Because apparently it's like the bad way to say it. Te amo. Really? Apparently it's like a, there's a better way to say it. But I know they say te quiero. Te quiero. In Spain, I've learned this one. Te quiero. Te quiero. Te quiero, Billy. Even if I now know you. Te quiero. I feel that te amo is more beautiful, though. Te amo. Te amo. Te amo. Yeah, whenever I said that to her, she said, ew. Really? I don't know why. I don't see her saying you. Ew. I feel you would spit in her face and she would be like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, Peely, Peely is never. Peely is funny. I think you get along with her great. Yeah? She would get along with you. She wouldn't, uh, she wouldn't get along with Aika. She would? She wouldn't, no. Oh, no. no. I don't see her with her. She wouldn't really get along with... Dimitri would be okay. Um, I don't think she would get along her with... Her and Bruno didn't get along very much either. No? No. No, they didn't get along. Maybe Jackie? Yes, yeah. Her and Jackie would get along. For yeah, sure. I'm sure she would. Her and Jackie would get along. I was just, I would be She'd sad. probably find Karen funny. <laughs> but no. she would for sure get along with you. Yeah. Dre? I don't know. I don't know, because I, 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 I gave her shade. No. I don't know if she would like me, because I gave her shade on eat on. Oh, eating. that's fine. You can give her shade. But I said that. I don't know why I said that she was my worst house guest ever. I don't know why I said that. You said she was the worst house guest ever? They asked me that, so I said, oh, Peely. She didn't play. But. I said I was like, I was literally. Well, Peely admits that she didn't really play. But after, well, I'm, I'm whatever. Mm -hmm. But after that, I was like, why is it Peely? Like, when I was cheering for her the whole time. Yeah. Why I said that? I like, we, like, I didn't like Bobby way worse. Like, I don't know why I said that. Yeah. She played in her own Peely way. She was going to get second most of the time. Yeah, she exactly. Played, she played a great $20,000 game. And she was probably that's kind of mean saying like that. <laughs> well, no, that's what it was though. Like, yeah, but I'm sorry, Billy. That that was. Yeah. I wanted to be mean. I played like. a shitty game in season three, but Peely, Peely played like a fine twenty thousand dollar game. She was uh, never targeted. She had a good social game. Mm -hmm. She made it to fifth. Like she wasn't gonna win, but she was gonna get some jury votes. So 
I was gonna vote for Peely. Oh my god, I'm JP sure. JP was gonna vote for Peely. JP, yeah. For oh yeah. It? Oh yeah. We were we were we were gonna try to get the jury house to vote for Peely if she made it to the end. She might have won in some situations, like if Ashley was on the jury. Yeah. If Zach, like she might have gotten four votes. That's right. She could have the, won. The, the viewers will not have been happy though. The, no, they wouldn't. People have been. loved her. She was really no, loved. People... But being a winner, I think it would have been ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And her friends for sure will vote for her. I'm sure she looks, she was so beautiful. Oh, she's just stunningly gorgeous. She's so sexy. I could talk about Peely all day. Mm. Is she tall? No, she's short. Yeah. Well. She's like a little bit taller than Cindy. Oh. Five, three. But I really like, I always said to my friends, like, if one day I want kids, I will ask, like, not ask, but like, See, a mother, you know, mm. mother that can be, be pregnant for you. And I was like, I'm going to go with a Latina, oh, a Spanish. Perfect. Yeah. Um, my if dad I... was like, you can ask tomorrow. That was like, what? No. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that with my friend. Peter would be a great mom. Who knows what's going to happen? But, yeah, we needed to... Do you want to hear the full Peely story? Yeah, I want to hear do you it. Me, do you want to? Yeah. It's boring. No, I like this. It's boring. No, I like okay, it. I'll tell you the whole story. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna listen? Yeah. I like this story. Okay. So, when season three started, Peely wasn't like, we weren't even, we didn't even like click right away. Mm -hmm. I had a crush on Willow. Yeah, I remember it. I still don't understand. I had a crush on Willow for the first three days. <laughs> I still don't understand. And then we realized, nah, it wasn't. And I had a crush on Ashley for like five days, and we got along great. You had a crush on everyone. Oh, yeah. I really did it. The women in season three were just all so beautiful. I had a tiny crush on Brittany. Neha was... Really? Come on. Like a tiny little bit. Did you have crushes here? This one? Yeah. Um, Cassandra. I was really attracted Cassandra? to Cassandra. But I mean, like, like she, just, she was very attractive. But she hated me. Okay, <laughs> mm. anyway. I don't see you with Cassandra yeah. anyway. No, no. She would be like, chow, chow, do that, do that, do that. Yeah, just in terms of like physical attraction, I thought she was gorgeous. Um, anyway, sorry, I stopped. Okay, so back to the Peely story. Mm -hmm. So I had a crush on Willa, and Peely and I were just kind of like, we, we got along really, really well, but it wasn't really, I don't know what it was. And then like day 13 or something, we got alcohol, and then we were playing Truth or Dare in the hot tub, and everyone was kissing everyone, that's when mm. we packed the first time. And then we just like started sharing a bed, and. And I just really fell for her. Because you know how paranoid you are in here? Like, I could always trust Peely. She mm -hmm. never lied to me. She was always there for me. She, was always, she always made me food and stuff. But I like, I like I lied to her a lot. Or I didn't lie to her, but I kept information from mm -hmm. her. Because right? I was in alliance with Jordan or whatever. And Peely, uh, Peely would accidentally say things. Oh, so yeah. I never like lied, lied to Peely, but I would keep information from her. You weren't trusting what she would do. Yeah, exactly. But it's not even because she would mean to. She would, there was, no. one, there was one time when it was like a bunch of people in the room and Bobby was there. Mm -hmm. And Peely as Zach in front of Bobby. Do we trust Bobby? <laughs> Bobby was in the room with Zach and Peely. And Peely was like, Zach, do we trust Bobby? Like, he's right there. Like, she oh, was, she's so funny. So, oh like, my god. Anyway, then we just really, really fell for each other. Yes, I, get, yeah. I get evicted. She played for a while more. I was in jury by myself. No, no, you cut a part. Like, I want, I want, oh, you want everything? I want everything. So oh, so we just, I just really fell for her. In a very stressful environment, she was like my rock that I, I went to all the time and talked about life, and we always just like, had so much fun with her. Oh, we just giggled and had fun, and yeah. We just really, really fell for each other. Hmm. I never thought I would, I would uh, like, it was just crazy. I get evicted. Mm -hmm. She played two more weeks, then she got it evicted. And in the jury house, like, I didn't know what was going to happen after. She didn't know what. And then we were like, do you want to try this? And like, yes. We're like, let's date after the show. That's cool. So I went back to Calgary. She stayed on the East Coast. We did about two months long distance. And uh, so after the show, you're going to get a lot of, like, you're going to get a lot of guys hitting you up. You're going to get a lot of male mm -hmm. attention. Oh, yeah. You're going to be, like, a little treat that people are trying to chase after. And same with Peely. A lot of guys hit her up. A ton of girls hit me up. And like I didn't get very much female attention in my life, mm -hmm. but like no, after the show, it, it wasn't even really like tempting. Like all there was tons of girls, but like I was all, I was just like in love with Peely. I was super loyal. Mm. 
So two months long distance. Then Peely came and spent most of the summer in Calgary. She came twice, hung out with her. Then she went back home and I went to see her. So we were doing long distance for a while. Mm -hmm. And it was really, really hard because after the show, I was kind of depressed a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, long distance was really, really hard, but we just texted every day, Skyped every day, fell more in love. Mm. She came to Calgary to live with me. When it was that? January. 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 So we lived together. It was really good, but I was also living with my roommates, Matt and Jamie. And, and that, she was there with you? Yeah, she moved in the house with us. And that was kind of a, that was, that was a bad decision because Matt and Jamie were like friends, right? And they don't want a couple all over the place. And mm -hmm. like, I spent all my time with Peely mm -hmm. and none with my, so that was kind of a tough, like I should just live with Peely by my own or we should have figured out a different arrangement because mm -hmm. that hurt my relationship with Matt and Jamie. But so anyway, mm. she was, she found work. She like makes tons of, oh, so like I lived in Calgary for two years. I had like four friends, like four friends that I actually cared <laughs> about. Peely lived in Calgary for two months and she had like 12 girlfriends that like really? were always over. Oh yeah, Laura, Pam, like the judge. She was making friends all the oh. time. Peely would come home and she's like, oh, I met someone at the gym, let's go hang out. So she was the social person in the couple. Mm -hmm. She would always want to go out, she would always do stuff and I always wanted to like stay home and work and, and uh, mm. And so that was kind of, I was a bad boyfriend in that I, I'm so obsessed with like work and my career and I love my job that I didn't put enough time into the relationship. So it should have been more dates, should have been more walks, just spending time. If you don't put time in the relationship, it's gonna suffer. And that's where I sucked. I didn't put very much time into the relationship. I was too busy with other things. And that's a regret is that, I wish, regret I, it still. Yeah, I, wish I put more time in the relationship because it was, it was like the most important thing to me at the time, you know? Mm -hmm. I didn't put enough time. And um, that's when season four finale was going on. We came to Toronto mm -hmm. as, a, as a couple to enjoy season four finale. And we were here for like 10 days and it was a hard trip. Like it's tough. I wow. don't know. There's some big brother alumni people that are, are, are tough to be around sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't know, our relationship was already waning a little bit. On one hand, like I didn't put enough time into the relationship at all. And on the other hand, Peely's kind of like a free free spirit, right? Mm-hmm. And um, She's a free spirit, yeah? Oh yeah, she's a super free spirit. Mm -hmm. But she lived with her parents till she was 23. Mm -hmm. Like that's the first time she ever lived away mm -hmm. from her parents. And she was very, uh, what's the right word? Like her family's very close. Mm -hmm. So she's a pretty dependent person. She needs to be around people. Yes. Mm -hmm. She hadn't moved away from home and really experienced stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like, like there was sh shit that um, she didn't really have very much independence. And I'm a very independent person. Mm. Like, I moved away from home when I was 18 and kind of just figured stuff out on myself, you know? Yeah. Um, so there was bad things on both of our parts. Mm -hmm. Season four finale, there was a 10-day trip here. That's when things were really kind of, ugh, it wasn't very good. Like, it's just, it's kind of a toxic trip. We, neither of us enjoyed it, and there was some shit that happened that... Between you and her? Yeah, that, it was, like, we kind of fought. That's when we start, first started fighting a little bit, but it was still, so like, we're still best friends. Mm -hmm. Like, a fight between me and Peely was, like, very small. Soft. Very <laughs> soft, very mm -hmm. soft. Like, we still loved each other, and then start of the summer, we decided to, to take a break. Mm. She moved back home at the start of August. And then we're like, all right, we knew that it, it wasn't the right time and that there were things that we needed to work on. So we're like, all right, let's give each other a break. We won't talk for a month and then we'll see where we're at and talk. Mm -hmm. So she left. We didn't talk for two days and then we started texting and we <laughs> talked every single day. So we broke up, but we Skyped like an it's hour so every cool. night. Oh. You still love each other. You still love each oh, other. Oh, I do, I think. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? I don't, I don't know, and I have no clue, well, you know, like, and I have no clue what she thinks about this experience, so I got called to come here and told her right away. First person I told. She's, like, so excited, so supportive. For the two weeks before coming here, I was called her every day. I was like, Peely, I'm so stressed. I'm so nervous. This is, she's like, you're going to do awesome, Kev. Just... You know, stay optimistic, stay happy. Like, she's so supportive. She was 
she, of course, she was happy for me, but she would have loved to play again. Mm -hmm. She was like, I want to play the game this time. I think I could be good. It would have been interesting to see Peely Pe play Big Brother again, but she was very, very supportive of me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, who knows? You know, I, 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 like, I don't know what she thinks about me and like our relationship too. It's like, like we've kissed a little bit, mm -hmm. we've cuddled a little bit. Like, it's, I can't imagine she's gonna be happy about that. But yeah, they probably put it on the show. To be honest, for sure they did. Yeah. yeah. So I, t I told her before coming is. It's like it's a it's a game. I don't know how we feel bad. Like if you no, I, I mean, love I your think... relationship, like you and Billy, and I know when I wrote this because I did that on the no, show. No, we're just friends. Like I am, no. I am, I am single. I told her I wouldn't get in a showmance with a girl. I was like, no way, because we. Like... <laughs> and you can and you just stuff with a, a boy. We're not <laughs> a showman. Like... We're not a showman. No, though. we just flirt. We're like we're actually not a showman. No, like we just flirt and have fun with it. Yeah. Yeah, I told her it was, I wouldn't get in a showmance with a girl. There's no way. Yeah, I don't consider us a showmance. No, I don't consider me a showmance. Not at all. No. I don't think. But that's that it, a lot of flirt, though. Yeah, it's a lot of flirt. It's further than the flirt. <laughs> I think, but yes. like. Yes. No, I agree. Like we have a genuine, awesome relationship. Mm -hmm. And you can't control stuff like that. It just happens. No, exactly. So I, th I, I don't know, I think about that sometimes. But Pee Lee yeah. and I, like, are, uh, we're single, we've been single for like half a year since we broke up. Mm -hmm. We're just, just not a long time. really good friends. But I don't know what she's saying about it, like, you know. What up, Pee Lee? I hope you're proud of me. I hope you're cheering me she on. She maybe hates me. <laughs> I'm sorry for she maybe hates me. shitty things. He gave, me your sh he gave me shade and he's doing stuff with Kevin. Like, fuck you, William. Fuck the French here, boy. I don't know if Quebec is far away from, like, it's a long time to go in Halifax. Ah, uh, it's not that far. Wow. It's many hours for sure. Many hours for sure. Yeah, so who knows? Mm. Who knows? That's a cool story, I think. Was that? That's a cool story, I think. That's a story. Yeah. Hmm. And I think after I get my phone back, she'll be the. Oh, I might call my mom first. Yeah. But she'll be the next person I call. Mm hmm. I think like if you win your choice, probably it's gonna be probably Peely. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Mm. I'd love to see more. Too. Oh, I think I would mm, like. I would, I'd cry more if I see more than my family. That is bad, eh? It's normal that you see a friend is like. Oh. Yeah, I want to see Peely really badly. We had a great relationship. Motu is like a free spirit. It's, she's not like Peely at all. Mm -hmm. It's not the same kind of person, but she's really a free spirit. Like, yeah. And someone who can judge sometimes. She's like, Will, are you thinking what you're saying? And I'm like, oh, so yeah, that's right, Mom, sorry. Mm -hmm. She'll be there at finale. I'd love to, but like, maybe she's gonna ask for a free day for this day because they, yeah. Mm. I don't know if my. I think if I made it to like the final three and I was like, I think my my mom and maybe my siblings would come. Mm -hmm. Last time they didn't come though because I was a jury. It's too far. I understood. Yeah. If I go out in jury. We're not really far, so it's like 15 minutes off plane, so... 
Oh, yeah, you're close. Yeah. yeah you're, my, that's a long ways from me. I know. We kind of came up with Darwin Twin playing. Mom, don't, um, you don't have to come. It's a long ways. I'll see if you I'm, soon anyways. I'd love to see you in jury, though, my family, even if uh, in jury. Even if I'm in jury, I'd love to see you yeah. in finale. Your family's much closer than mine. Finale. Mm. We're gonna come fast. I oh think. yeah. Twenty-five days. Mm. Twenty-five, thirty-five, thirty. Mm. Oh yeah, it's gonna come very, very quickly. Yeah. Your hair is so thick. Mm. So thick. What up, mode? Which day are we today? Tuesday. What's that? We're Tuesday today. Today's Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. I have to win the HOH. Mm. Well, there's a good chance I'll be up on the block again. Mm. I'm just happy to survive this week. But mm -hmm. Thank you. We need to find a new movie to tell us the plot. I, I feel like you guys it. abuse my storytelling. No, 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 I feel like you guys... Like, I can't ex ex escape this freaking world. I, I think you guys abuse my storytelling. Why don't you guys tell me any stories? Because I'm bad. Do you know, do you see how bad you I can't... You never tried, though. Every time I'm speaking, I am like... Blah, 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 blah. So do you imagine telling a story? I would be bad. You never tried? I though. would be like, so it was the story of, the, I don't know. One day, if I have a big, I don't know. You never it's tried. It's so though. good, like, I'm like, I'm like, ah. This toe is freaking long. Let me see that. Yeah, it's super long. It's like my index. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, like shit, and it's this. It not tastes the smell. Do you see how bad I mixed up my words? What word. did you say? I said, I, it tastes bad, it smells bad. Yeah, I farted. Come on. There were a girl in the, in the bus the other, well, when I was young. She was eating an apple. And do you know what, what is the only thing that stays, that, that she didn't eat? What? The stem? This. Yeah, I have. Oh, some people do that. I, really? It's gross. She freaking ate the, this. Yeah. And the heart. Yeah, just people just leave the stem. I was like, the stem? The stem. The stem. Yeah, it's the stem. Well, some people would eat this. That's gross. Yeah, I don't like that. Stem. S-T-A-M? S-T-E-M. S-T-E-M. Oh, stem. I think. You're not good in spelling? No, I suck at spelling. S-T-E-M is like... I'm good at math, but bad uh -huh. at spelling. I was not good in math. I hated it. You hate math? I like math it. Math is fun. I like math. 
No, like when I don't understand the problem, I'm like, mm -hmm. I like it when I, it's easy. Like I'm like, oh, I know what to do. But like if I'm like, I don't know what to do, I'm like, oh. When it challenges yourself. Yeah, but I don't like this kind of challenge, I guess. <laughs> I prefer like grammar, mm -hmm. I don't know. Is this, is like Big Brother one of the hardest things you've ever done? Oh, for sure. I think it literally, it, I can't think of anything else in my life that has been oh, for sure. more challenging than Big Brother. You are on TV 24-7. I have to speak English all the time or almost because, well, Dre's there. Yeah. I, we are with strangers. Yeah. We are mentally like... You can't sleep. You can't sleep. You can't nap. You can't nap. You are paranoid. You need to be strategic. You always like, I'm always like, hit myself, I'm like, I should not do that, or I should do this, 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 but I cannot. Yeah, it's it's by far the most challenging thing I've ever oh, done. Oh, yeah. But it's by far the most cool thing and, like, enjoyable thing, oh, too. Oh, my God, for sure. Like, I cannot wait to explain all the... There's a lot of things that my peop, my family would not know, like, yeah. only what's happening in the DR, and, like, I was, how, like, a ceremony, it is. it's not, like, the first ceremony that I've done, I was like, oh my god, it's not, it's not like on TV at all. It's yeah. like a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight. Mm. I remember the first week that all the eight newbies, we were always asking you to the eight yeah, like, questions. Yeah. This is, is it normal? Is it always like that? Is it always is, like this? This yeah. is this line. <laughs> that was probably annoying. Yeah? Did anyone try to get the eight newbies to go after the eight vets? Uh, never. No, never? Never. Oh. Because there was, like, the eight vets were always like, we have to stay together, we have to stay together. No. And look now, <laughs> there's we're me. We're like... There's me, I guess. Jackie and I were like, is some, someone, like, make this happen without us? Because, like, there's only three vets. Yeah. And, like, there were two on the block. You and, like, we were like, maybe another one left was going to leave. Yeah. Well, not, not like, Bruno's going to go. And it's gonna be me and Aika. No, I never thought about doing this doing this because I was like just like fan of the people. I was like, I don't yeah. want to evict them. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Cause they're always like, yeah, the eight vets have to stay together, have to stay together. But then there was it was never gonna happen. Netta, Cassandra, Gary. Mm -hmm. I would have been like, mad if like we were all leaving and I would watch the show and see like like the vets mm -hmm. being alone in the show, like without, I would be like, this oh, yeah, is not your season. At the beginning, I was like, this is not your season. Like, this That's is a... my season, that is Trey's season, Emily's season, but it's not your season. Yeah, exactly. But at one point, like, so like it's kind of cool how it worked out, and that it's just. Yeah. Well, now it's like season. Uh, I don't think Cassandra's gonna say that uh, she's a season five, a house guest. She was. Yeah, season four. But I'm sure you were gonna say that it's. Your season three and five, I guess. For sure. Aika, like she's been like four weeks in their season. Now she's like. Yeah, season five is more Aika. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're always like team vets and oh. Oh my god. It just didn't work for a second. Oh, but I it, every time there's vets on the Big Brother on Big Brother and they do alliance, oh, I hate that. I'm oh, like just. Lose. Yeah. No, I I vote for the for the vets because. Yeah. I know them and I love them and I don't like the newbies. That's why I didn't I didn't like to be newbie because I'm like I don't like the newbies. Yeah. I always cheer for the vets, but I don't like this alliance. It's like always the same shit and it's never working. Yeah, it never works. Never always someone betrayed because it. I thought there would maybe be a power behind those. I've checked them. You looked at them. Mm -hmm. Did you take them off? No, you did. I... No, that one doesn't come off. No, because I pulled them, it's not possible. <sighs> See, I always thought there was going to be something in here. Oh, maybe, though. I never pulled them out. Let's check them all. I, I thought there was for sure going to be something. I did the same in the pantry. What's that? At the place, there was some place that it was weird. I was starting to take the thing, 
And I was like, he's like screaming at me. So good brother, there's, there's not a second secret power veto, is what you're telling us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tried like the wall also is weird. I'm sure like the wall with the color walls, something's going on with this. What, what color walls? Oh, the colors. Oh, yeah. Why they put that? No, it's not only for like to be beautiful, it means something. Like, there might be something on I was pushing the color. I don't know. You already found the secret. Shh, shut up. Shh. What else could be something? I was just like, you could have fit here. What about the green lines? They go all over the house. They use this for a clue when I get yeah. the third. I don't know. Hmm. Is there is anything else weird about the house? The only thing like is like the color walls. Yeah. Have you seen Marsha? No. no. Did I you? Haven't. I haven't, I promise. I I think I think she's outside, you know in the bubble? bubbles. I think she's in one of those. I really do. But we cannot remove them. We cannot remove them. I want to see her so bad. No, the only shit I've done is that day 27, the task with Karen. That's yeah. the only task I've done. It was fun, though. I was so happy that there was, like, a secret mission. I was like... Oh. That's awesome. You're lucky. Like, um, so if you picked any other chore, you wouldn't have gotten it. Mm -mm. I was just lucky. That's awesome. I was like, what was the chance that it was in me? Yeah. So you went through a black hole? What was it like made of? Got cushion? Oh, or just cushion? Cushion. Oh, shit. I couldn't see anything. I was just crawling and crawling, and at one point I like banged something, and the lights came on, and it was like a big thing with a power needle, and a word, and like a message that I would find something. I was like, <laughs> I can't wait to watch that. TV. That's good. That's awesome. Oh, but the that reaction thing. that you're gonna see is not the real one because yeah. I just fucked up the thing. Oh, I opened yeah. it. They were like, "Don't do that." <laughs> I thought I needed to open it, and I was like, "What is that?" Oh. So I needed to do it like many times. That's awesome. Oh. So you've been on the show a ton. You won three competitions and a secret mission, but you've never been nominated though. No. Yeah, I thought for sure. I always took those panels off. I think the lasagna is ready. You wanna yeah, go? I guess so. You don't feel that this is weird? Are you think something? Might be. I don't know. There's something, I'm sure. Please wake up. Nap time is over. What's that for? Oh, I know. Is it good? It's really good. Really good? Ooh. Is it good? Because Jackie, you're veggie, so I'm like, I don't trust you about this. It is good. Okay. Yeah.